Quick post fight video. This one is um, Josh Taylor stops Ryan Martin in the seventh round. First off, I want to get to the stoppage. That was a bad stoppage. Ryan Martin got beaten from pillar to post. Lost every round of this fight. Never looked like winning a round. Very low punch volume. Uh, was just getting completely outskilled. But that being said, you know, he got back up straight away. And to be fair, it was a punch around the back of the head. From what it looked like anyway, it seemed like it was around the back of the head. Martin went down. He got straight back up, more or less. Referee Victor Lockman waves it off. But to be fair, he was never going to win this fight. And he really didn't complain too much about it. This was the first time I ever saw Ryan Martin. I've seen Josh Taylor several times and I've always been impressed. I've always, I used to say that, uh, you know, out of all the prospects, this is about kind of when he fought Har Davis. Josh Taylor was like my pick of the crop. And that was like prospects across, you know, the board. I always thought Josh Taylor was the number one. And obviously he's gone on to world level since then. Obviously when he won his um, 12 round UD over Victor Postal back a few months back. He went in here now tonight with Ryan Martin, who I've never seen. I've heard good things about, um, heard he's very fast, but he has the Huey Fury syndrome in a sense that he just doesn't seem to have any dog in him. He just didn't do anything in this fight. He was just getting lit up with body shots, and if he wasn't getting lit up with body shots, he was getting lit up with head shots. He was made to miss. He was, whenever he did, you know, troll, you know, he was get walking on the counters. Yeah, it was Josh Taylor at his very best, and I'm going to throw this out there right now. I am going with Josh Taylor to win the World Boxing Super Series at 140 pounds. I really do think Josh Taylor is that talented, and there's not much. There's really not much to say. I mean, it was it was easy for Josh Taylor. I'm sure he's had harder sparring sessions than this fight. No disrespect to Ryan Martin, you know, it was hostile territory. He was in Josh Taylor's backyard. It's probably the biggest stage he's ever been on. Maybe he was rushed into this. I think that. Ryan Martin could have done with maybe some, some more fights on maybe kind of a couple of undercards. I'm not sure if he's an Al Heyman fighter or who he's promoted by, but I definitely think he could have done with a few more kind of lower level card fights as opposed to jumping straight into a fight of this magnitude. So maybe he just froze. Uh, I don't discount that, but you know, it is what it is. Onwards and upwards with Josh Taylor. He is going to fight that Belarus guy for the IBF world title. Yeah, I couldn't think, can't think of the guy's name. But as for the IBF title, I expect Josh Taylor to win that fight when it happens. And whoever he meets in the final, I expect him to win that too. So Josh Taylor, um, really great fighter, really good fighter. I've always been very keen on Josh Taylor. And uh, yeah, not much else to say about this fight. So it was a decent card. You know, it was very dramatic. I mean, I think we had a robbery, we had a freak injury, and then we had a complete mismatch, as it seemed, with Josh Taylor and Ryan Martin. So yeah, interesting card. Um, Bell you hey next week. And I'm going to touch on this just briefly at the end of this video. I am sticking full-heartedly with my prediction. And my prediction, I'm going to do some videos during the week about this, is Tony, or I nearly made a show of myself there, is Alexander Usyk to stop Tony Bell you late. Yeah. I will not be picking Tony Bell you in this fight. I think Usyk will stop Bell you late. I'm going to touch on it if bit more during the week in some videos i'm gonna try and get them out i might even try and get one out tomorrow if i can um time wise tomorrow might not be the best but definitely monday or tuesday so look forward to that and uh yeah those are my thoughts on this